guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to use the new Dollar Tree Sassy and Chic Nail Stamper and Stamp Plate. Now there is, it's definitely, if you've never nail stamped before, there's going, it's going to, just like with anything, it's going to take you maybe a little, a little bit of time to get used to it, a few trials to get it kind of, you know, trial and error, 100% to uh, get comfortable with nail, nail stamping if you have never nail stamped. There are some techniques and tricks that I'm gonna teach you. So this is what you're looking for. They Now they, they come separate. So the nail stamper and the scraper come separate and then you have one individual nail stamp pad. So this is what you're looking for. Like I said, mine were on a clip strip next to the beauty eye items. Yes, next it was in Dollar Tree. So different. So it could be hanging up in the beauty section, or it could be on a clip strip. I always say look at those clip strips because a lot of things are being placed on a clip strip. So. I, okay, so the first thing that you want to do, you want to clean your nails good. So what I would do is like an alcohol prep pad or something. You can actually get those at the Dollar Tree and clean, ev I mean, go down and really clean your nails, take care of your cuticles, do all that wonderful things. And then what I would do is I would do a base coat before you even apply the polish. That's going to help from, it's going to help not stain your nails, especially if you paint your nails all the time. You notice that you're like, oh gosh, it's kind of like gray and dingy. You're staining your nails. So you place the base coat, let it dry, and then I prefer the Kiss Nail Polish. You can get this at the Dollar Tree. It's nice and thick. It's just really, really pretty. This is the, look how pretty that looks. It looks professional. This is the one that I'm using right now, and everywhere you go, you can find, well, I think everywhere you go, you can find Kiss Nail Polish, but they always have this at your local Dollar Tree, at least every Dollar Tree that I've ever been to has the Kiss Nail Polish. I would highly suggest this as your base coat. So you want to paint your nails and then you're going to let it dry a little bit. And this is the key. This is like a main key to this is when you're stamping before you put your stamp on, you want to go ahead after your nails are dry and put another base coat on top of your nails because sometimes when you're stamping, the colors can bleed into each other if you don't have that layer there. So that's one of the, the really key things to do that you might be like, oh my gosh, I'm messing up what is happening. You might have skipped this step and this is like a really, really, really important step. Another step that is, I think it's necessity, honestly, you can use any nail polish for stamping, but you have to do a thick, hearty nail polish. If you get something that's really runny and watery, it's not going to work on the nail it's just not going to work. It's just, it's just not going to work. And you're going to get frustrated and you're going to be like wanting to throw it out and saying this doesn't work. I highly suggest that you get a nail stamping nail polish. It's completely different. It's a little bit more hardy and you can get these off of Amazon. Very inexpensive. You can find a whole kit. They have gel ones. Highly recommend those. But I have actually a stamp kit that I grabbed from TJ No Marshalls a while back. And I made $4.99. And this is what it looks like. Let me flip it around right there. So it comes with the stamp pad. Plus it comes with your white and black stamping nail polish. This is what's going to help do good with the nail polish because and the stamp. So if you're using regular nail polish, you might be like, oh my gosh, this is not working. And you're going to get frustrated and you're going to be like, Lisa, it doesn't work. It's it's the, it's not the stamp pad. It's the nail polish that you're using. So I, if if I were you, you know, test it out, see if you even like it, get your the most thickest nail polish that you have, and then you can kind of play with it and you'd be like, oh my gosh, you know, I really like this. Then go ahead and invest, invest your money into better quality nail polish for stamping. 
I did mine and I did one and let me kind of share with you what it looks like if my camera will pick it up. So this is with this nail stamping and this is just the kiss and it's just the white but doesn't it look so pretty? It's got the icy blue with it looks like snow. It is super easy when you use the right tool, especially it's like anything with like makeup. If you don't have the right tools, right blending brushes and stuff, it's a little bit harder. I mean, you can use your hands, but it's kind of the same thing. You have the right tools, you're going to succeed in it. It might take you a few times to really get it, but I highly recommend this. Okay, one thing, if you've never tried nail stamping, it does come with a, a film. It's the blue film. You have to take the blue film off. I've had some people, my friends, and they're like, it doesn't work. And I'm like, did you take the film off? And they're like, oh. <laughs> so take the film off. Obviously, if you don't, it's not going to work. And then it comes with a stamper. This is a stamper you can buy separate. Like I said, you can go on to Amazon and they have so many different kits right now and a lot of times they're on sale. So it comes with a stamper and then it comes with your little scraper. Do not use metal scrapers on your metal stamp pad. It's going to scratch it and then it's it's just going to be... your you're going to be upset because you're going to ruin it. Always use a plastic nail scraper on your stamp pad. That's really, really important. And so let's go ahead, since I kind of taught, you know, talk to you about this, I'm going to go ahead and share with you how to do it. It's super easy. There is a technique when you put the nail polish on, you want to scrape away from you, not towards you. I guess you could, my, this is how I've always done it so put the nail polish on and scrape away from you and um, let, let's go ahead I'll turn the camera around and I'll share with you how easy it is it does take a little bit of practice but you got this it, it works a hundred percent one hundred percent worth your money but you're definitely gonna need that stamp nail polish okay you guys so I have a towel right here just a you know messy towel just in case so it's going to be super super easy so this is the nail plate that i'm working with uh, as you guys can see i've been using it probably this whole week this is the little kind of looks like kind of snow right there this is what we're going to use so very very simple here's the little nail stamper the little jelly right there that's going to pick up the design. Here is our little scraper and this is the Kiss Stamper Nail Polish. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our nail polish and we're just going to place it where on the design that we want like so. So that's what that looks like. Okay, now we're gonna take our stamper. I do it away from me. Um, just how I've always done it. So that's how we're gonna do it. Then you wanna stamp it down, okay? You wanna put firm pressure, not like crazy pressure, but just enough and then see how that looks you can see it right there as you guys can see I did get a little bit of extra right there so that's why you would really want to like you don't want to this is how what I'm saying kind of finesse and technique it's going to take you a little bit of just trial and error to get it perfect but that's okay right it's, I mean that's okay here is the nail right here I love the fact that it looks like this so you can see I love the clear ones, so we are going to place it on the nail like so. We're going to roll it over and we'll try to miss that extra bit of nail polish so that I can kind of get a good little stamp 
Okay, so see you guys, look how good that is. Look how pretty that is. So if you do have, if you guys can see, I have that extra one, I'm like, oh gosh, I kinda, oops. You just wanna roll it and then push it like how I did so that I can miss that. So now it looks really, really good. Now you're gonna see a little bit of extra, super easy. There is like this liquid stuff you can get where you can put on your nail and you can remove it or good old, just a little brush, can brush it away. You can use a little toothpick, put a little bit of um, nail polish remover and then get that off, but that's what that looks like, super easy. Let me share with you one more time how to do it. Again, we're gonna go ahead and use our stamping nail polish. Our little scraper, we're gonna go ahead and scrape away from us, like so. We're gonna take our nail stamping pad and roll it on there, a little bit of pressure. And as you guys can see, that's what it looks like, super easy. So if you guys look, I did it like this, but if you turn it around like this, that's how I got that. So it kind of just depends. It's kind of cool that you can do different designs with this nail right here. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same. So I'm going to have it like this and I'm going to place it and we're gonna roll it over our nail like so and see, perfect stamp. Like I said, you can take the like, it's really easy to get the rest of this stuff off. It, it comes right off. As you guys can see, it comes really, it comes right off on the stamper and it's really easy to get off your nail. So that's how you do it, you guys. Super easy and definitely going to take a little bit of trial and error to get it perfect because, you know, it's kinda, it takes a little bit of finesse, if you will, but very easy. They definitely do 100% work. I highly recommend them. They are fun to use and I would definitely go on Amazon. They have tons of kits and tons of nail polish for you to pick. Thank you all so very much and I, We'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.